Alright everybody, so today I'm going to go through a little bit of how I do ore mining in Genshin Impact. I do this every third day, usually, but sometimes I let it go a little bit longer. The team that I usually use is Zhongli for his stone crushing ability, Yellon for her speed ability, and then we have Skaramouche also for his speed ability, and finally Sayu for her speed ability. Okay, we're gonna start an ad hoc main tunnel where immediately you want to jump off this area, then roll towards, there's a little cave over here where you find one of those knights. You're gonna run past the knight and you'll find these two ores at the end. You're gonna wanna crush them and then we move on to the next one. Here you wanna go to the right immediately and run towards those ladders over there. If you have Scaramouche, I recommend jumping on top of this one and then using his ability to get across, because it's a lot faster. Then over here you'll find three ores. Which is quite a good catch, if you ask me. Then I usually teleport back to the to this waypoint and I fly over here and here you'll find this ore. Which I'm breaking with Sayu here, so I can save Zhongli's ability for the one that's right around the corner over here. I break this one and then I climb over this fence and go towards the water. Across the water you'll find this cave at the bottom of the cliff. If you want to go inside the cliff, jump over, off here and go right. Once you go to get through the water, you'll find this jumping pad. Uh, glide into this little cave where you'll find all of these ores Which is quite a catch if you ask me. There's quite a lot of ores here I would understand if you would only want to go here and then like not do the rest of the run Now we're going to the serpent's cave Here you'll go straight past the waypoint Glide over the chasm and then Find these ores in a little like alcove over here There's also quite a lot of ore here and make sure you don't forget these ones down here. Then I'm gonna glide across the snake to get to the ones that are over here. And there's also quite a lot of ore in this area so I highly recommend that. Then teleport back to the waypoint. Turn 180 degrees and go straight for like a while. Once you see these purple on the ground you're like there so you'll be able to find the ores pretty easily I think. Then we go into Chasm main mining area. Here you want to turn around immediately again and you find this purple area, go up straight across it to this ledge over here where you'll jump down and find these three ores which you can crush with the uh, Razor or Zhongli's ability. Then immediately after here you cross the bridge, glide from that down to this area where you find three more ores which you can break with Zhongli's ability and then keep moving without teleporting. Walk around this little rock formation here and then you can find these three ores. You're gonna break them with Zhongli's rock ability, pick them up and keep moving around in this area. Don't teleport anywhere yet, just yet. Now you're gonna wanna go towards that staircase you'll see in the background over there. On top of that staircase you'll be able to locate the next ores. There's three ores here. Now you're gonna wanna turn around and you'll see that uh, little torch over there. That's where you jump across to this place and then you'll be running from here all the way to the other side of this little pass. Where you'll find the rock slime, don't worry about that one, just leave it. And then you find these ores. Don't teleport anywhere just yet. You're gonna keep moving towards the next area, which is through here. And just get through here all the way over to here, where you'll find two. It's not a lot, but like it's part of the route in this area, so it's recommended that you go here. And keep moving with Yalan 
into this little water cavern over here where you farm with mushrooms or well fungi I suppose and then go past the hollow tree trunk and you'll find a lot of ores once you've picked up those it's time to teleport again and we're going to underground waterway here I j recommend jumping over here and getting here where you'll see the ores on the other side of that serpent thing that's right there I recommend activating your flying gadget now if you have one like, you can break these rocks just ignore the snake completely unless you need the drops of course and then keep moving don't just completely ignore it try not to get hit out of the air though that and you'll be gliding down around the hilly trails, looking at the cave painting or the fossil house or whatever. You'll find the ores across the water here. Once you've collected all of those, you want to go over the water again to the other side here, where you'll be aggroed by the maids and the hilly trails, but don't worry about that. Just keep running until you get to this area with these ores. And now, uh, you just run past these healer churls. It's a little bit away, so it's like not even saw you. His ability is gets you all the way there, but here you'll find three more ores. Next, you're gonna want to teleport to Nameless Ruins Waypoint, where you'll turn around, find a hole in the ground, and jump down. You probably want to go with a heavy weapon character so you can drop down on this one and save your ability for the next doors which are over there and now you have these next you go to the glowing narrow sway point where you'll turn right and glide or go with the Scaramouche's ability to these ores then I recommend teleporting back to the waypoint you came from because it should be pretty fast, even if you are on PlayStation and mobile. Then jump and fly, glide across here and just keep running. Keep running, don't stop, don't turn anywhere until you jump across the edge and find these ores down there. The bottom. Now you want to hug the wall when you go past the soldier so you can get to these ores without aggroing the, the mob. Now you teleport back to the glowing narrows. Here you want to turn around and run towards the waterfalls over here. Go pa right past the first waterfall and then you're gonna drop down to the bottom of the next one. I recommend landing on that little rock that I'm standing on right here. If you have jungle. Now you're gonna follow this river over this little hill here and then go across the water past the large fungi so you and past this little activate thing here under this root and then you'll find two more ores <laughs> now we're teleporting to where you'll see the ruin guard on the bridge over there there's a bit of ruins here and i don't know how else to explain that if you have Scaramouche, I absolutely recommend climbing on top of this rock using his ability without dashing at all. If you don't have Scaramouche, just use the jumping pads. Then you're gonna drop down all the way here and run straight forward until you see the ores, which are located here. Once you've done that, you're gonna keep following the narrows until you get to the last ores on the route. There's gonna be two more. Yes, here they are. And that concludes this little order run that I do. And this time I got 177 ores, which I think is pretty good. Thank you for watching!